Hi guys, today I made this lovely Mexican courgette salad or zucchini salad, depending on where you are in the world. And it was so fresh and zingy with lime, capers, herbs, chili and loads of raw courgette ribbons. Start off with two medium sized courgettes or zucchinis and cut off the stems. Then take a vegetable peeler and peel really long ribbons of the courgette. You can do this with a mandolin as well, but I don't trust myself to not dismember myself with one of those. So just keep peeling until you reach the seedy center. Then turn it over and peel again until you reach the seeds, peel the remaining sides and discard the seedy bit. Then do exactly the same with the second courgette. When that's all done, lay the ribbons on a large plate or platter. Let the ribbons fall loosely and in waves and try to separate any ribbons that are stuck together as well. Then set that aside while you make your dressing. Start this by slicing two cloves of garlic really, really thinly. Then gently heat 100 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil over a low heat and add the garlic, followed by two tablespoons of drained capers, about a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, about the same of dried chili flakes, but feel free to add more if you prefer it spicy. Then just mix everything up and allow this to gently stir fry over a medium low heat for just a few minutes until the garlic just starts to go golden. Then add about a tablespoon of fresh parsley, chopped, and stir fry again for just another minute or two, just until the parsley starts to wilt. Then take the pan off the heat to allow the dressing to cool and replace it with another clean pan. Turn the heat up to high and add about a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds and allow these to toast until they start to pop. Now go back to the courgettes and spoon over the capery dressing and all of the garlicky chili oil. Sprinkle over the now toasted pumpkin seeds. Sprinkle over a generous pinch of sea salt flakes and a nice grinding of freshly ground black pepper. Then about a teaspoon of dried seaweed flakes. If you can't find them, you could just crumble up really, really finely half a sheet of nori. Finally, dress the salad with the juice of a lime. Squeeze by hand if you like, just make sure you get every last drop. And because it's winter, I'm using my handy citrus squeezer, which I don't normally get to use that often until summer. Just spritz it evenly over the whole plate. And then just tuck right in. This would be perfect as a side dish to serve to a crowd and because it's vegan and gluten free, all can enjoy it. Except those who find fault with capers, but do your best to not have those types around as those people need to not exist. Thanks a million for watching guys. I hope you liked this recipe and will give it a go yourself. If you do, be sure to let me know how you got on on social media. You'll find all this, my social media accounts in the description below. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And you can check out my blog for the full recipe over at www.rookiecook.org.